Hey everyone, this is Nolan with Blender2D.com. Uh, today I have another tutorial for you in our series, Introduction to Creating 2D Animations in Blender. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to export your character from GIMP and import it into Blender. Let's get started. So open up GIMP and then open up the character that you created in the last tutorial. All right, so now you got them open. Uh, what we're trying to do here is take all these pieces that we created of our character, his arms, his legs, his head, his body, and save them all as separate images um, and crop them so that they're, we don't have any extra space wasted. So the first thing you're going to want to do is choose a body part that you're going to uh, copy over and copy to a new image. I'm going to start with his body. So I'll go ahead and I'll right click, go to edit, and click copy. Make sure that you select his body in the layer if you're not um, whatever layer you have selected on the right is the only thing that you're going to be able to copy over here so it's not copying his head because it's in there it's only copying this shell part because it's in the body layer so I'll click edit copy and then I'll go edit again paste as new image and as you can see I have the whole shell here it's not cut off by the head or anything because that's how layers work um, and now you're going to want to save this so I'll go file export to and you're going to want to create um, create a folder we're going to use turtle parts here you're going to want to create a folder and then export it as a PNG file we'll name it accordingly so I'm going to call this turtle shell as you can see I already have one there um, I was doing some practice runs earlier and so I'll do turtle shell dot PNG and I'll export it and it asks me to replace but if you haven't made one yet you won't have to replace it and this little pop-up will come up and you just click export you don't have to mess with any of those settings alright so now you have a turtle shell um, but say you come to a layer like this one right here this is the layer I have the pupils in I'm going to edit copy edit paste as new image all right, so now you can see just the pupils are here, but I don't need all the extra space there. I just want these two little black dots. So I'm going to go to image and auto crop. All right, so now they're auto cropped and um, I'm not really wasting any space there. So I'm going to go to file, export, and I'm going to actually save this in parts because that's the folder I'll be using when we get to Blender. And I'm going to type in pupils dot png the reason we're using a dot png file is because it saves the alpha channel which is this invisible kind of layer it, it's marked with a check checkered box checkered box looking things behind our our drawing but um really it's invisible so it you'll see why that why we're doing that when we get to blender all right so go ahead and do that with every single body part and now uh, once you got all of that done open up blender okay so now you have this, uh, uh, I'm going to open up a new one. Okay, I messed something up. That's all right. Uh, if you have anything in on here, you're going to uh, click A, and then it will deselect everything. Click A again, and then click Delete. All right, now you can see you have an empty space uh, in your viewport, and uh, how I'm moving around in the viewport like this is I'm just holding down the scroll button on my mouse. So before we get started, we're going to have to enable an add-on that will allow us to import uh, .png files as planes. So go to File, go to User Preferences, go to Add-ons, and search for Import. And you'll see about halfway down, import-export colon import images as planes and you won't have this checked off if you haven't used it before but click the check mark and then you should be good to go and click X alright so now you have that add-on enabled and what you're gonna wanna do after you have that enabled is go to file import images as planes and you'll see this little plug-in symbol right next to it so you click that and navigate to um, navigate to the the folder that you have your stuff in so I have mine in parts so I'm in parts I'm going to check off all in directory under import options that's why we saved them all in one folder because it will import them all at one time instead of it doing it one by one and then oh I just moved there we go alright now you're gonna wanna check these under material mappings 
check shadeless, use alpha and pre-multiply. Uh, you can leave this at Z transparency. All those need to be checked or it will not work. And then you can click import images as planes. And now you can see I have all these images lined up right here. And um, what I have to do is rotate them. Press R, X, 90 degrees. All right, so you have them rotated and now they're facing you. And you can click uh, down here at the bottom below the viewport. Right next to object mode, there's this little white ball. You need to click it. It's the viewport shading. Um, and select and click texture. So now you can see them. And I have a few extra pictures in here that I don't need. Uh, I'll right click to select this background, um, this picture of the back of the shell, this extra head without the nostrils. And I think the rest I can use. So um, click one and five and you'll see that it brings you to a front view and that's one on your number pad if you're using a laptop that doesn't have a number pad you'll have to go to file user preferences um, input and check the box in emulate number pad that's actually what I've had to do because I'm on a laptop right now so now we're gonna start moving everything uh, and putting it in the right order I'm gonna make this shell a little bit bigger by right clicking on it and then pressing S and dragging to change the size and now to move any of these other objects you just right click it and you press a G and it'll allow you to drag it using your your mouse and so his head needs to be bigger so I'll press S and then let's see his leg needs to be down here I'll right click press a G it needs to be bigger uh, his mouth needs to go over here it needs to be a heck of a lot smaller uh, eyes need to go over here they need to be smaller pupils need to be extra small his arm needs to go over here maybe a little bigger this arm over here it's about the right size and this tail about right here mm, a little smaller okay so now I have this jumbled mess um, what you're gonna want to do is use your uh, your scroll button on your mouse to come over here and kind of like how we did on GIMP how we layered everything you're going to want to do the same thing on here except your layers is you're just taking your images and you're moving it in front or behind. So right now I currently have the tail selected. I'm going to move it behind the turtle shell. I'm going to use the turtle shell as kind of the base. And I'm going to take the head and I'm going to move it in front. The eyeballs, I'm going to move those even more in front of the in front of the head. Let's see, I moved the pupils and the eyeballs. So they're in front of the head now. Uh, this arm needs to be in front of the body. That arm needs to be behind all right and this leg needs to be behind all right so I'm gonna click one again that will bring me to front view uh, I'm gonna move this leg down you're saying uh, you're probably saying why does you only have one leg well I didn't bother to save the leg twice because they're basically the same thing they're just flipped so if you click shift D and you gotta hold those uh, it'll duplicate the object that you have selected and then uh, what I'm gonna do is rotate this around the Z axis by 180 degrees so it's a complete uh, mirror image of the other one and it's flipped so there we go now I got two legs alright now I gotta kinda uh, move everything to the right spot and get all the proportions right so this kinda uh, I'm missing his mouth where is it there it is I forgot to move his mouth in front alright click one again and now I'll start uh, really getting everything dialed in close and now he's all ready for well almost all ready for animation and I'll be showing you that in the next tutorial so I hope these tutorials are helpful for you if they are please uh, please subscribe to our YouTube videos uh, like us on Facebook uh, check out our website at blender2d.com uh, feel free to comment if you have questions or even if you want to give me feedback if there's something that you uh, a tutorial or something that you think we should have go ahead and uh, let us know and we'll do our best to uh, make a tutorial and we just started so we're creating these tutorials and hopefully they're helpful for you um, but a lot more content is gonna be coming out as uh, you know the weeks go by I'll be trying to post a new tutorial every week but um yeah thank you for watching and I hope this helped so, bye